Welcome back to Ebony Island. Uh, today we're going to mow the lawn. We're going to go mow that field. And we're going to use this new mower. I don't think we're going to keep this mower. Because I think this is much more mower than we actually need. Um, but I've never actually used one of these. And I want to try it out. So we're going to use it the first time. And then we may end up selling it and buying something a little more suited to the fields that we have um because we just have that one small grass field right now and we have thirty three thousand dollars in the bank we still need to buy at least a cedar if not also a cultivator we have I'm trying to think of what we got and what we need. We were making a list last time, but I don't remember exactly what was on the list. We have a fertilizer. I bought a roller. That's at the shop still. So maybe a cedar is all we need? I think it's right down here, the field that we own. Let me double check we're in the right spot. It is the last field down here, and I think we're right here. Yeah, we're on this path. So it'll be the last field up here. We'll get to it. I don't know. Oh well, yeah, I guess selected mode is widespreading, so this must have swath dropping on it, huh? Can I change the mode what it like this? It doesn't look like it. Probably gotta turn it on and unfold it and everything. Here's our field. Where's the entrance to our field? Doo, doo, doo. There should be a break somewhere, right? Oh, it's got to be down here at the end. Here we go. I tell you what. We've got 33,000. This is a really small field for grass field. So let's buy that other one. That's 23,000. Mm. Go ahead and buy that. And then that'll give us the opportunity to see if we can get rid of these. Hide the hedge. But is that... I think that's from another thing. Is this the kind of thing where you can... Yes. Let's buy a chainsaw real quick. Doop 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 buying a chainsaw. We're gonna need one eventually anyway. So might as well get one now. Let's go with the McCulloch. Why not? I always feel bad for whichever chainsaw I buy, because then I don't buy the other ones. But is this the thing? Yes. Where if we Aha! And then do you... Oh, and then that just pops away. Nice! Okay. So what I'm going to do is combine these two fields completely. Then we just got to find each one of these posts, huh? Oh, am I cutting on it? There we go. That works out well. Oh. Where'd you go? I saw the little red, red line. Where'd you go, red line? There it is. Haha. -ha. Well, I'll go ahead and get this hedge taken care of. Um and then I'll see you when we're done with that so we can check out that lawnmower. Okay, so that's the hedge gone from between there. So that is grass ready to harvest. This is grass uh, in a stage before it, but that's okay. We'll mow the whole thing, and then it'll all be in the same stage. And uh, at some point, once we have a cultivator, a plow, and a cedar and stuff, we'll seed the grass in between so that it's all actually high-yielding grass. But for now, 
We will uh, jump in this mower. See what this is about. So I assume we could unfold it. Let's bring it over here a little bit so we're off the edge. Do we have any other options? Oh, I hit the wrong button before. Do, do, do. So I don't see any mouse control, so we must not be able to widen those or anything. But it is at wide spreading. We don't need that because I'm. we're going to make this into silage. Because silage sells for more than hay. So I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, swath dropping. Beautiful. B-E-A, beautiful. That'll also let me open up with the with the uh, being able to get rid of the hedges. I can open up the entrance to that other field of ours, and it might make it easier to make that corner. Good to know. So uh, let's turn this on. Ooh, the whole thing lifted up. Interesting. All the mowers act together. Yes, yes, they do. Very nice. Oh, this thing's speedy, too. Wow. Yeah, this is... Why have I not been using this the whole time I've been doing grass work? This is even better than those Pottinger mowers. But, okay, I'm going to go ahead and mow this field, and I'll see you in a minute. Well, that certainly took no time at all. This is a really nice piece of equipment. I can't believe they gave this a starter equipment with the, with the um, farm. And it's got a hitch on the back. Oh, but there's no PTO. So I was going to say, I wonder if you could hook a baler straight to it. What's underneath that cover there? I wonder if this does have PTO. Because it seems like you would be able to hook a baler directly to it and then um, just bail as you mow. Especially if you had like a fast bail that wraps too. You could do it all in one motion. You just have to make sure you didn't have to stop and back a whole bunch. Because with the rear wheel steering, uh, stopping and backing might be a little bit of a pain. But yeah, look, this thing cruises at 43 kilometers an hour. You know, I said we were going to sell it and buy a more appropriate mower, but may end up keeping this and buying some of those fields in between, combining them and making this mower uh, a bigger part of our farm going forward than I had originally anticipated. This is nice. I like this. I like it a lot. Plus, it's not... The wheelbase is much longer. Um, and having the, the wing mowers be between the wheels is nicer than when you have the wing mowers on the back and the small mower on the front of a regular tractor. Like, it just seems much more maneuverable. Than a tractor with the same mower decks on it. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to think about this. That's it's given me something to think about. That's a really nice machine. But we need to go 
and bail and then wrap and I assume I can't hook them together so no and this one goes off to the side so we're gonna do that in two separate steps we could probably we'll bail with the green one we haven't used the green one yet green tractor hello let's put some hours on you it's a nice tractor too like all this starting equipment is really nice the um the baler and the tether and everything are not super big you know what you'd expect as starting equipment but the tractors and the um the mower there having two headers for the combine and having the bale trailer um that's a lot of like really good equipment but you also start with no land the only land that you start with on easy mode here is the the actual land that the farm buildings sit on so maybe that's why they gave a little bit better equipment with this starting farm it's because you don't actually have any fields or anything so you have to buy fields so to make up so you don't have to spend all your starting money on equipment and fields give you a little bit better equipment i don't know but i like it and it's still a really cute map regardless it's an interesting choice interesting choices made on whoever created this map but i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna bail this at the uh smallest bail size because i think i learned from last time there's no point going any bigger so i think that's what we're at right now the 125 yeah we're gonna leave it at 125 this is 35 percent full of straw so that'll be fine because as long as it's under 50 percent oh i guess i don't need to unfold this as long as it's under 50 percent it should change to whatever we put in it yes changed over to grass so i'm gonna go ahead and get this all bailed up Well, we're very close to having one last bail, but I don't think we have the grass for it. So, yeah, it took significantly longer to bail than it did to mow the grass. I wonder if we could get rid of the tether and the windrower and swap the bail, the baler for a slightly better one. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. 
again it's something to think about because if we're making silage I'm not gonna be needing hay for anything like I said I already said we're not gonna get cows I don't think we're gonna need hay for anything else so we might as well get rid of that tatter and then if the mower has the swathing mode the um the harvester also lays swaths so the wind rower becomes kind of useless at that point no point having a wind rower we'll never need so we could potentially get rid of those and that baler but I don't know I don't know if there's another baler that's that would make up for that. What do we have? So that's say three grand, twelve grand, no, eight, nine, ten, eleven thousand, eighteen thousand towards a new baler, which would get us nothing. Yes, there's no balers for that cheap. Other than these guys, but that's still. Oh, we can get a crone baler. Get that and uh, see if we could pull it behind. Oh, but that's square bales. We wouldn't be able to use our thingamajigger with it. Yeah, so that does not look like it'll be a viable option anytime soon. There's this thing, but... I don't know if it's going to be any better than the one that we already have. You know what I mean? I want to actually... Because this is the one that we have right now. Why is it so cheap? Is ours broken? Yeah. So maybe if we repaired it, we'd get a substantial bit more. Does all this stuff need repair? No, that one's fine. That's fine. Why is this... We barely used it. Why is it at 58%? Or 0%? I mean, it's 0% repaired here. We're at like 95% with this tractor. Let's see what it says on here. Yeah, 5%. So it's 5% damage. So, for some reason, that baler is 58% damaged. I mean, I might have not been the most gentle with it, but I didn't think I did that much damage to it. But, anyway, I still don't think we'll get, like, a an actual decent price. But we do have an extra tractor we could sell, too. Hmm... Decisions, decisions. We don't really need three tractors. I think two tractors would be sufficient. We'll have to think about all of this. See what we're going to do with our money. See how much money we can make off the fields that we already have. We didn't make a whole lot with that wheat. But, again, I think if we... Actually fertilize and... That field probably needs lime... I would assume. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, it's not fertilized at all. Where would yeah, it would be this one? No, apparently it doesn't need lime. The one that our grass field needs lime. That wheat field does not need lime. That's a surprise. I'm actually very surprised by that. But I'll go ahead and get these all wrapped up and picked up. And then I will see you when I'm done with that. I gotta swing this a little wider to get in here. There we go. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll see you when I'm done with this.
Okay, so that's us done with that. Just debating to myself whether we should um, run a bunch of that equipment to the shop, which I don't even know where the shop is on this map. Do 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 Oh, here it is. Up here. So debating if we should bring a whole bunch of equipment up there and sell it all off, fix it and sell it. And see what we get. I mean, minimum the wind rower and the tatter we could get rid of. Because we don't need them. We're not gonna use them at all. And then potentially also the baler and one of the tractors. And then we're going to need to buy a cedar, maybe a cultivator. Um, we have a roller. We have a fertilizer spreader. Oh, I was talking about wanting to get a weeder as well. I wonder if our roller works on grasslands. We're going to find out here. So, we're not going to do any of that right now because I'm in the middle of doing something else. So let me go get the bale loader. I'll get these bales loaded up. And then I'm going to get the... We're going to drive up to the shop. I guess if I'm driving up there, I should bring something to sell. Right? Instead of driving up there for no reason. So, one, one thing at a time. Let's get the bale loader. Get these bales loaded up. I think 10 more bales but 14 bales is better than the what was it five total that we got off the wheat field because there's one big one and four medium ones that fills that trailer out a little bit better so yes I think we're gonna go park this in the yard and let this ferment and then bring the wind rower or actually does that small tractor have a three point on the front? We'll have to see. So if so, we actually might be able to bring the wind rower and tatter at once because it's a small tatter. Bring both of those to the store, sell them, and get the... I guess it doesn't have to be the small tractor. It could be any tractor. Because if I need to get the rollers back here, I... I'm not going to be able to sell whatever tractor I bring with us. We're just going to park this in the middle of the yard. Boom. Perfect. Goodbye. Alright. Yes. Grab this bad boy. We will go hook up to the tether and the wind rower. Go sell those because we don't need them. I keep saying it because I'm trying to convince myself that this is a good idea. Because it, it feels like one of those things that as soon as I sell them, I'm going to be like, oh shoot, I could use that for this. Just because that's the way the world works. Alright. So I will drive... Yeah, that works out well. I will drive these off to the store and I'll meet you when we get up there. See you soon.
the oh there we go see if these need to be repaired or repainted uh sure 71 to repaint that one 128 to repaint that one otherwise they're all good Oh, yeah, see, that's 79 months old, 28 operating hours. So, like, some of this, the stuff is in varying states of of being used. Interesting. They made some interesting choices with this, that it's not all brand new. But, like, these don't have damage to them, even though they do have hours on them. Oh, I guess that's where I wanted to sell them right there, wasn't it? All right, let's pull back over there. That was laid um. Whoa. Do do do. Because I did realize that you do make significantly more from selling stuff here than you do selling it like through the menu. Because let's see, this is three thousand five hundred. If I were to sell it through here. We would get 3,181. And the bigger the prices you're talking about, the more that just drifts away. And you end up not making nearly enough money when if you just bring it over to the spot to sell it, you'll make significantly more. Okay. So those are sold. Might as well repair this while we're here. 42 bucks. I'm not going to repaint it. I'm not selling it so there's no need to repaint it we are going to need to repair this because it was on sale so it's pretty shit but you know what being a roller it probably doesn't much matter does it it's not going to do it change anything with the roller unless it changes how fast you can use it in the field I don't know if there's options with this either. Let's look at this. Bring it over here and look at it. Doop. So. What's it going to cost to repair? 451. We'll do it anyway. I don't know if that changes anything or not. Customize. Yes, just the wheel setup. We can't change anything else. And the wheels are fine as they are. Yeah, I'm not going to pay to change it. But you don't have to. There's a Trello board. It's just the two. Let's go with these ones. Why not? Boop. Zero dollars to customize. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh. Is it worth putting GPS? No. Our fields are too small to. Why are you having trouble backing up? I did hook up to you, right? What is going on right now? Do you just really not like those tires? Let's swap them tires back. See if that fixes it. Swap back to those. Yes, the Trillabargs. No, it still seems like it's having trouble. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Weird. Why are you having such trouble pulling this? There it goes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, why? Look at that. Like, it's really bogging down. This does not weigh nearly that much. That we should have any trouble pulling it when it's especially not unfolded. Something's goobered up. I even repaired it. Like you can hear it's over revving. And then once it starts rolling it's fine. Ish. I don't know. Anyway. I'm going to get back 
And we're, I'm gonna go see if this roller does grass. Cause I don't know if it will just do field prep after you seed or if it will roll grass as well. So we're gonna go find out. I'll see you over there. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be doing anything, so that stinks. We may need to get something else to uh, assist um, for now I guess we can just use actual fertilizer because it would probably be more expensive to actually get an implement for this grassland care 26,000 that'll seed as well 3,000 for that grasser like a concrete rollers I could have sworn there was other rollers that uh yeah I guess these ones how much can we get for that roller that we have what should I just spend to fix it yeah, well, see, we can only get seven grand back for that. There is this one, but it's so small. Four meters. That would take forever. Might as well just, at this point, we'll just use the spreader. See, like, why is that bogging down so bad? That shouldn't be doing that. This tractor should have more torque than that in those first couple of years. Anyway, um, we have the spreader, so we will, we need to spread lime on that one field anyway, and then we'll probably fertilize both of those fields, and then call that a day. I want, oop, on the, on the wrong side of the road. I forgot, we're in the UK, not the US. I will learn. I've been mostly doing okay at being on the right side of the road. Or the left side of the road, I guess it, I should say. Um, yes, that was the question. If I get, like, lime... Can I get lime in a, out of any of these? I know the one had fertilizer. We got both solid and liquid fertilizer herbicide um diesel what else is in these which one's who maybe it's just the tractors being bogged down tractor why are you being so crap all right yes lime in here so if i get lime i assume i can dump it back into it right I'm not just kind of stuck with it. Okay, seeds and mineral feed. That's what the other one is. Let me buy... How much does lime cost? I do not need 500,000 liters of lime. Let's go... 10,000 liters? Yeah. No. 5,000 liters. Yeah. 5,000 liters of lime... I don't know how long that's going to last. And then... 2,000 liters of solid fertilizer. I don't know. I'm just kind of vibing. I don't know how this is going to be for anything. Oh, 
I might need a weight on here too. So we should be able to hook up to this guy. Roll up over here. Oh, will this even do lime? Uh, we gotta open it, right? It'll only do fertilizer. Crud. Crud poppers. Indeed. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna fertilize it today. And then call that good. Do, 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 do. What do I want? I want to turn those back off. Yes. Which actually, can I? I probably can't, huh? What? Can I unfilling? I guess it doesn't matter if all we can take is fertilizer. We don't need to put it back in there. We can just leave it in this and have no steering because my front end is going to be off the ground. Do, do, do. Not really, but close. Hey, look, I accidentally got the right side of the road this time. So, yes, we do need to do some work on swapping equipment around still. I think we need to maximize our equipment, our good equipment. I'm keeping that mower. I've decided. The mower's too good to let go because we'll never be able to afford something that good again. <laughs> we will eventually, but not for a long time. And also, I don't know if maybe I should just get rid of the equipment that we don't need or that we want to upgrade and then get a loan to cover the difference between that and... Oh, this thing's super widespread. Uh, the difference between that and the money we make off that equipment. That might be an option. Still need to come up with like a comprehensive list of exactly what equipment we're going to need. Apparently a lime spreader is on there. We could potentially just rent a lime spreader. Because we shouldn't be doing that that frequently. Do it once for this field down here. It's just one of these two fields too that needs it. And then our wheat field doesn't even need it right now. So yeah, it'll... It'd probably be better to just rent it. We don't need to buy one. Unless we get rid of this spreader. And then get one that will do lime and fertilizer dual use like dual use equipment then it makes it seem like it's more worth it the huge amount of money you pay for it oh that's not our field I was going to say why does it look like we spread lime on our field already but our field's the one next to that one yeah. Oop, wrong side of the road again. So, yes. I think next time we're going to play around with swapping equipment out. Get what we need. Actually get a cedar of some sort of drill. Direct drill. What are we going to need for that? How much is that? If we get a direct drill cedar... Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Which one's track drills? Oh, that's super expensive. Wait. Huge ones. What else we got? That's an expansion. So this is a direct drill for 65, but that's only three meters wide. How much, how big is this one? Still not very big. It's double for a little under double the price. This is basically the same. What else do we got in here? That's a direct drill. Uh, 
Are these direct trail? Oh, nice. We could potentially get this. This thing is huge. That's a, a five meter, five meter drill for six grand. This one's a smaller. Oh yeah, and that's not a direct drill. Do, 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 do. These ones are also direct drill. That's more expensive. But you that one offers two different types. You've got the pole behind, and then you got the one that hooks directly to the tractor. Interesting. But this is also four grand. Whereas this is only six grand and it's like almost twice as wide. So we'll probably get this. Do, 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 do. Yes. But since that's only six grand, I think we'll have money to uh, spend on some other equipment to we'll look at getting a potentially a better baler and wrapper like a bale wrap combo I know that's going to be expensive but like I was saying we can either lease or take out a loan I think a lot of that will be next time plus we should get a significant amount of money back for these when they ferment they're at 1% right now, so next episode we should be able to sell those, make back a decent amount of cash from that, and that'll really help tailor what equipment we're going to be able to, uh, to buy at that point. That'll be next time. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye!